astonishing spectacle is taking place on the banks of the Triveni at Prayag. Thousands of people are dancing, singing, laughing, and crying uncontrollably in ecstatic love. All have been driven mad by the immense influence of one boy sannyasi whose tongue constantly vibrates the holy name of Krishna. His tall, golden form is more captivating than Kamadev's. His soft, fragrant limbs are adorned with radiant tila in twelve places. <coughs> and his sannyas cloth, as reddish as the newly risen sun, is fascinating as he dances overwhelmed with transcendental emotions before the deity of Bindu Madhava.
to you with full satisfaction. Over oh, five. Please listen carefully. The ocean of Bhatti Ras is so vast that it cannot be touched. Indeed, it is very difficult even to find the shore of that ocean of Krishna Pram. But to enable you to taste it, I will describe one drop in this ocean of Bhatti Rasamrita Sindhu. In this universe, there are innumerable living entities and they are wandering in 8,400,000 different species of life. Mahaprabhu, can you tell me what is the nature of the jiva? If you take one hair and you divide that hair into 100 separate parts and taking one of those parts if you, just, if you divide it again into a hundred more separate parts, this is the size of the minute living entity, the jiva. <coughs> the jiva is very minute and it is called Jit Khan. That is to say, it is a particle of spirit, not of matter. The number of jivas in this human form of life is very, very small and most of them are uncivilized. But out of those few jivas who have attained this rare human form of life and are following the Shastra, most of them are only giving lip service to the Vedic injunction while performing all types of sinful activities. Yet, out of those few jivas who are following the Vedic principles, they are called the Karma Kandis. And out of millions of such Karma Kandis, you may find one will become wise. That is to say, he becomes a jnani. <coughs> and Shivupa, if you take thousands and thousands of such jnanis, there may be only one who will become liberated. Mukti nam api siddhanam, narayana parayana, sukhulava prasandasana, prajis api mahamuni. And out of millions of such liberated jivas, to find even one pure devotee of Krishna is very, very rare. Ramananda Brahmatai Kaurana Bhagavanji Guru Krishna Kashari Pai Bhakti Dada Beach. The Jeeva is wandering in this universe. Sometimes up, sometimes in Swaga, sometimes in Narak. But that one fortunate Jeeva, he finds the Lord's feet of Sri Guru Padma and Sri Guru Dev give to that fortunate Jeeva the Bhakti Lada Beach. O Mahaprabhu, what is the Bhakti Lada Beach? The Bhakti Lada Beach is Krishna Seva Vasana. That is, it is desire to serve Krishna. Manihara Kore Se Bijarapan Shavana Kitanaja Kore Sejan. Then the Jiva, upon receiving the Bhakti Lada Beach from, from the spiritual master, he should become like a gardener and very carefully plant that seed in his heart. Then, by the process of watering Shravan Kirtanam, that seed will sprout. Then, hearing chanting more and more, the seed, the sprout will go up and pierce through the coverings, the eight coverings of the Bahanda. That is to say, his service tendency becomes free from material designations. Then the Jeev, it pierces beyond the Niraja, what you speak of the Bharati Rupa, the Jeev pierces beyond the Brahma Jyoti and piercing beyond the Brahma Jyoti goes to Vaikuntha and there, hearing and chanting, he becomes free of attraction to Srinarayan, the opulent form of the Lord. Chanting more and more, that beach will gradually reach the lotus feet of Sri Krishna in Sri Galot Vrindavan the highest of all. And chanting more and more, that creeper will give the fruit of prema. But be very careful, all of you, be very careful. If a mad elephant comes, he may enter the garden and he will break everything. Taking the creeper by its root, taking it out, it will become with her and completely die. Oh Mahaprabhu, what is that mad elephant? Vaishnava Parada. 
How can one protect himself from that mad elephant? Ahuba, he should always surround himself with pure Sadhu Sangha. In this way, he will become completely safe. He should fence himself with the rope with the with Sadhu Sangha. But be careful, Kupa. Along with the creeper of pure devotion, there are many, many weeds that also sprout. And what are those weeds, Mahaprabhu? Those weeds are duplicity, enviousness, etiquette, acting against Vaishnava etiquette, and the desire for love, puja, and pratishtha. If the devotee is careful for all of these things, then he will attain praying. Can you tell me about this? When the fruit of prayer becomes ripe and falls, at that time the gardener, he will drink the sweet juice of that prayer. Can you tell me, what is the nature of the juice of that prayer? Prayer is of five different varieties. Samta, Dasya, Satya, Vatsalya, and Madhuras. Sandharas is characterized by Krishna, Krishna Tyag. That is to say, he becomes completely detached. And he has another quality. Krishna is the firm faith in Krishna. But higher than this Rupa is Dasi Ras, the, servant, the Ras of servitude. Dasi Ras has all the previous elements of Sadhya Ras, but included is Seva. And higher than Dasi Ras Rupa. Is, but, is Saki Ras. Saki Ras is characterized by two special things, two special elements. One is Mamata, possessiveness and intimacy. And higher than this is three, but is Bhatsari Ras. Bhatsari Ras has all the qualities of the previous Ras, yet one special ingredient is there, that is Ala. That means he thinks, Krishna is my son, I should nourish him. He is dependent upon me. And another thing, he is thinking, I must chastise Krishna. If I do not chastise him, how will he become a good boy? This is called Tadana Bhatsana. Bhatsirupa. There is one even higher ras. This is called Madhu ras. And Madhu ras is containing everything. Kandava Nijanga Kya Kariya Seva. That the devotee in Maduras, she offers all the limbs of her body in the service of Krishna. Just like from the material element of ether comes air, from air comes water, from water comes fire. But all these four elements are contained in the element of earth. Similarly, in the Maduras, all other rasas are included in it. Oh Rupa, I only briefly describe this ocean of bhakti grass. You may think upon it and delineate it as you see fit. Now, Rupa, I'm going to buy Nasi. Oh Prabhu, if you will give me permission, I will come with you to Varanasi because I cannot tolerate the waves of separation. Rupa, your order, your. Your duty is to follow my order and go to Vrindavan. We will meet later. We will meet later when I go to Jagannath Puri. Yeah. After embracing Sri Rupa, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stepped down to a boat bound for Varanasi. As the boat pulls away, Rupa Goswami fainted and fell unconscious. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu finally returned to Jagannath Puri, Rupa Goswami went there to meet with him. The young Goswami became the object of love and affection for all the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, such as Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Charya, Haridas Thakur, 
Swarup Dhamma and Roy Ramananda to name but a few. One day, after observing the awesome phenomena of Mahaprabhu's dancing at Rathyatra, Srila Rupa Goswami sat deeply immersed in thought by the hut of Haridas Thakur.
Mahatma Prabhu, as soon as I saw the unique composition of the verse, I could understand that you have already bestowed your mercy upon him. Otherwise, no one could understand the movements of the heart. When I met Rupa Priya, at that time, understanding him to be a fit candidate, naturally I bestowed my mercy on him. Oh Rupa, what book is this you're writing? Oh, the writing of Rupa Goswami is like a row of pearls. Tunde Tundavani Ratin Bhutan Te Tundavani Rapye Kana Krode Kanamini Yatayati Kana Rasude Yasbihan Chaita Pangama Sani Vijayate Sarvindriyanam Vitam Naudani Janita Kiyadibi Amrite Krishna Deepana Dwaye Oh, I do not know how much nectar the two syllables Krishna Krishna I do not know how much nectar those two syllables have produced. When the holy name of Krishna is chanted, it appears to dance within my mouth. At that time, we desire not one mouth, but millions and millions of mouths to chant the sweet name of Krishna. And when the holy name enters my ears, at that time, we desire millions and millions of ears. Then Krishna, in the form of his holy name, enters the courtyard of my heart and dances there. It conquers the activity of my mind and all my senses and everything becomes enough. Krishna! Krishna! Oh, one who desires to learn the glories of the holy name must do so by hearing Shastra from the lips of a sadhu. Such sweetness is not available anywhere else. Oh, Rupa, describe one other verse that is most pleasing to my heart. Oh, look, he is so shy. Sukhdata, you read it.
that embellishes and enhances the taste of nectar. Oh, Ramananda, you are simply you are simply infatuated by the poet's expressions of the verse. But when the people in general hear this, they will simply laugh, and I will become embarrassed. They will not laugh. Simply, they will live. Their lives will become auspicious simply by hearing this invocation. Oh, Ruth, please recite another verse. Oh, my dear Saki, who is this fearless young man? Who is as bright as a lightning cloud, and who performs pastimes like a maddened elephant? From where did he come to this place, Vrindavan? By his restless movements and his attractive glances, he is plundering from the vault of my heart the treasure of my patience. Aho! Aho! What is the use of the hours of a bowman or the poetry of a poet that penetrates the heart but that does not make the head spin? I tell you, the poetry. This poetry is the essence of all spiritual realization, and now has appeared before us in the form of a drama. I I do not know anything. I do not know anything. The only transcendental words I can speak are those words that Mahaprabhu makes me speak. Oh, Sri Tamila. Oh, Ramanda Roy. Oh, Sarabhan Bhattacharya. Oh, Haridas Thakur. We should all bestow, I want you all to bestow your abundant blessings upon Sri Rupa, so that he may become empowered to describe the ocean of Bhakti Ras. Oh, Mangalam Bhattu. Swami passed ten jubilant and joyful months absor absorbed in Krishna Kata in the company of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his associates in Jagannath Puri. Those ten months seemed to pass like a flash of lightning. Yet, on the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Rupa Goswami set out for Vrindavan with a mission to uncover the lost places of Krishna's divine lila, to find the lost deities established by Vajranabha four and a half thousand years before, to write the Bhakti Shastras and establish Vaishnava Sadachara. After some years, a pilgrim arrived in Jagannath Puri after visiting Vrindavan. Oh Mahabhu, I have brought you some prashadam in the day. <laughs> oh, you have come from Vrindavan? Oh, how my two brothers, Rupa and Sanatan? Please tell me, how is their bhajan? What activities are they engaged in? And how are they maintaining their lives? Please tell us all of this. <coughs> the two brothers, Rupa and Sanatan, The two brothers, Rupa and Sanatan, have no fixed residence. They reside under a different tree every night. They accept a little bit of diksha from the Brahmins. They have all types, they giving up all types of material desires. They only take some dry roti and chickpeas. Their only possessions are a water pot and some torn cloth. They always chant the names of Lord Krishna, discuss his wonderful pastimes, and remember him, and dance in great jubilation. 
They are always absorbed in bhajan, 24 hours a day. They take rest for only one and a half hours, sometimes not taking rest at all. Sometimes they write transcendental literature about the science of devotion. And sometimes they chant and remember the past times of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, what is wonderful for a person who has received the mercy of Mahaprabhu. Haribo! 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 In the transcendental forest of Vrindavan, Srila Rupa Goswami was ardently absorbed in prayer, trying to solicit a drop of mercy by which his burning spiritual aspirations might be fulfilled. When Rupa Goswami felt separation out of, out of sympathy, the trees would also weep in the form of showering flower petals. Your pure and unblemished cheeks have become reddish and lustrous 
from the temple remnants on the lips of Madhuripu Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. Oh, my dear Sanatan is approaching me from a distance. He has come all the way here from Nandagaon in the blazing hot sun. If I had some prasadam to offer him, it would be very nice. But alas, I have nothing to offer him. Oh, it is a matter of great jubilation to meet you here, in this secluded place. Oh, please. Help me by explaining the glories of this divine forest that we find ourselves in. Of course, I will tell you something. Which the creepers, the trees, and the dust of this place all holds very dear to their hearts. Kindly sit down, take a seat. In this very forest of Vrindavan, in the early morning, Shrimati Varika walks from Javas to Nandagao to cook for Krishna. And when she arrives in this very place, Krishna is milking cows. She wants to see the beauty of his form. So she breaks her pearl necklace and on the pretext of picking up all the pearls, she can look at him from the corner of her eyes for a long time. Sometimes Krishna playfully squirts milk into Radhika's face as she walks past. Or sometimes she runs Radhika. She steps in a puddle and splashes water on Krishna's face. In this way, Rupa and Sanata were absorbed for many hours in the nectar of Krishna Kata. But yet, the idea of offering Sanata Goswami, some prashad, had lingered in the back of Rupa Goswami's mind. Place. 
Please take some. Them. 
and thus I feel that I will never attain my goal. But when I remember how your mercy is like an ocean with many waves, if one simply approaches the ocean, then the waves without discrimination they wash over him. Oh, when I remember this, then one drop of hope comes into my heart and I can maintain my life for one more day. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama. As Srila Rupa Goswami chanted the holy name with intense eagerness and absorption, gradually the wonderful pastimes of Radha and Krishna would unfold within his heart. When he would see the pastimes of Viraha, separation, he would cry bitterly. And at other times, while witnessing the hilarious pranks of Shyamasundar, he would laugh uncontrollably. Everything disappeared from my heart. 
quite unexpectedly. Oh, Shilati Radhika, oh, Queen of Vrindavan, oh, Lalita Saki, where are you? Oh, Nanda Sumo, oh, Krishna, where are you? Where are you? Oh, Sanatana, your arrival could not be more timely. I have never needed you more than I need you now. Please help me. Oh, brother, what is the cause of your anxiety? Please sit down. I have something very important to tell you. Though I chant again and again, and I pray again and again, no inspiration is coming in my heart. I am trying to follow all of the instructions of our Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and your good self. But still, I have lost everything. Please, what can I do? Can you give me some advice? It sounds as if some Vaishnava has taken offense. Aparada is the only thing which can check the powerful flow of Raghunuga Bhajan. But Sanatana Prabhu, I always try my best to honor all Vaishnavas and give them respect and be very polite. I am not afraid of anything in this world. I am not afraid of the thunderbolt of Indra or of death itself. But I am afraid of displeasing the lotus feet of any dear devotee of Krishna. If I have offended someone unknowingly, then what should I do? My brother, you should arrange for a very grand feast in Brajmandal. Invite all the Vaishnavas who reside there. Then you will understand, if anyone does not attend that festival, then they probably have taken some offense by de uh, against you by declining your invitation. If you do this, I believe the solution to your problem will be found. Oh, this is such wonderful advice. I will organize a festival in here. Oh, Vaishnavas, please, today I am organizing a feast. All should come and take Mahaprasad. Sri Rupa Goswami is always protected by Yoga Maya. It is completely impossible for him to offend anyone. Yes, Yoga Maya arranged this extraordinary pastimes to give a lesson to the world. Sadhu Sabdhan. Oh dear devotees, be careful. Never, under any circumstances, commit an offense at the lotus feet of a Vaishnava or dishonor them in any way. Otherwise, all will be lost. Srila Rupa Goswami organized a festival and all the Vaishnavas of Braj Mandal assembled together to honor Mahaprasada. Mahaprasade Govinde, Mahaprasade Govinde, Namo Brahmi Vaishnave, Namo Brahmi Vaishnave, Baba Punya Vatam Raja, Vishwasam Avatayate, It appears that all of the Vaishnavas of Braj Mandal have come here without exception. Everyone is here. No, they are all here except for one person. Who is that? His name is Kutta Krishnadas. Do you know him? Yes, I know him. He lives very close by. I gave an invitation to him, but he did not come. It is my advice that you go and see him immediately and inquire what is his, the reason for his absence. There you may find the solution to your dilemma. I will carry out the order at once. <laughs> Rupa Goswami Pad immediately went to the Bhajan Kutir of Kanj Krishna Das and he approached him with great respect and humility.
glorious years passed by, and Sri Rupa Goswami was simultaneously absorbed in bhajan and also in writing Bhakti Granta. His every breath was only to follow the teachings and fulfill the inner heart's desire of his Ishtade, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One day, some pilgrims arrived at Vrindavan after visiting Sri Jagannath Puridhan. Hey, Sriman! How was your pilgrimage to Jagannath Puri? <coughs> My pilgrimage. Some people. Then they say it was successful. But I have news. It is of the greatest lamentation for the whole world. Oh, my. Oh, my. Don't be shy, Prabhu. Please. Please tell me what happened. Oh, my. Our Lord. Oh, when will that 
shoot it, then you are not moved. Again, become the object of my vision. The young Jiva Goswami was the one and only Diksha disciple of Srila Rupa Goswami. He served the lotus feet of Sri Rupa with such selfless and unprecedented rati that Srila Rupa Goswami was pleased to bestow upon him all transcendental treasures. You should not see these things. 
if it appears that in their behavior there is some fault, that they are sometimes angry or they become tired. Never see these things. The Vaishnava is always transcendental. Just like the Ganges River. In the rainy season, it becomes filled with foam and bubbles and mud. But you should always know the Ganges is liquefied Brahma. Always transcendental. The name, form and qualities of Krishna are very sweet like sugar candy. But those whose tongues are afflicted by the joyness of ignorance cannot taste that sweetness. But oh, how wonderful it is by very carefully chanting the name of Krishna every day with great honor. Some taste will come in the tongue and the disease of a bitch will go far away. The essence of all advice is that one should spend one's full time, 24 hours a day, in nicely chanting, remembering the name, form, qualities and pastimes of Krishna. In this way one should engage the tongue and the mind. One should reside in Vrindavan and perform bhajan under the guidance of a devotee who is very deeply attached to the service of Radha and Krishna, both externally and internally. O oh, Jiva, you should know that Mathura is superior to Vaikuntha. But this Vrindavan is superior even to Mathura. Because it is a place where Krishna performed his last dinner. And superior to this Vrindavan is Giraj Govanham. Because it was raised by the divine hand of Krishna. And he performed his very loving pastimes there. And the highest of all is Sri Radha Kund. What intelligent person would not desire to reside and perform devotional service on the banks of Radha Kund? which is situated at the foot of Govardhan Hill. Those who engage in fruitive activities in this world are quite foolish, but those who follow the Vedas are superior to them. Among them, those who have some jnana, some knowledge, are favored by Krishna, but those who give up all jnana to engage in bhakti are higher. Among all the devotees, those who actually have praying, like Narod, they are higher still. And among all the devotees who have prayed, the gopis of Vrindavan, they are the highest of all. But Jiva, among all the gopis of Vrindavan, Shrimati Radhika is supermost. Just as Radhika is dear to Krishna, her lake, Shri Radhakund, is also dear to him. So who will not desire to reside on the bank of Radhakund? and in a transcendental body, surcharged with ecstatic love, will render service in the Astakalya Lila of Radha and Krishna. <laughs> All the sages say that Radha Kundi is as dear to Krishna as Srimati Radhika herself. So what to speak of the ordinary sadhak, it is very difficult to attain, even for great sages like Sadat and Sanatan Kumar. If one simply bathes once in the water of Radha Kund, then the transcendental plane will be raised within their heart. days, Srila Rupa Goswami manifested to the world the ultimate pinnacle of devotion. He constantly wept tears of anguish, feeling the intense burning of separation from the service of the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika. Sometimes he would appear to be lifeless and hardly breathing when totally absorbed in Amtara Dasha, internal consciousness, and at that time, fully oblivious to the external world, he would render service to Srimati Radhika 
in his eternal spiritual form as her dear most Paliyadasi, Sri Rupa Manjari. Vrindavane viharato iya keli kunde Mantari papa vada kautuka vipramena Sangasaya sivayo padanara minna Gangandhi dehi mai dehi kripa unkasinha O Devi Shilati Radhika I know you are here I'm walking through this kunj hand in hand with Sri Krishna. At that time, your hearts are overwhelmed with curiosity to taste each other's beauty and sweetness. Oh, Shilati Radhika, when will you be kind to me and give me the darshan of your two lotus faces at that time? Thank you. 
in this way, Srila Rupa Goswami entered into the eternal loving pastimes of the divine couple, having shown to those fortunate souls who follow in his footsteps the most confidential path to attain the highest aim and object of life, service to the lotus feet of Vrindavaneshwari, Sri Mati Radharani, Adadana Spiram Lakthaya, Idam Yache Puna Puna, Sri Madhurupa Padam Bhoja, Dudashyam Janma Janmani, taking a straw between my teeth. This fallen soul prays again and again, O oh, Sri Rupa, may I become the dust of your lotus feet, birth after birth.
रोग बसावे रोग मे शू कम रोग बसावे रोग मंजरी बो कम फॉरवर्ड परूड नॉट अंडरस्टेन्ड वॉट वॉज देर ओह देर देर रोग बसावे he was practicing as a male shaak roop goswami but internally at the same time oh he was serving radha krishna ko jugal in the his constitutional form like roop manje he was praying to by doing shaakan bhajan in the shape of roop goswami हे गलती हे शाखे लाइक समटाइम्स ऑन राधा कुंड समटाइम्स श्याम कुंड समटाइम्स इन गोवर्धन समटाइम्स हियर एंड ऑलवेज लिविंग मेंटेड फॉर एंड इन द सेम टाइम व्हेन ही वाज राइटिंग पोएम्स ऑन राधा कृष्ण कंजुगल ही वाज सर्विंग इन द शेप ऑफ और रूप मंदिर You saw he was writing and he was oh, was faint. But the Rup Manjari, this girl, Jan Nawa, was serving Radha and Krishna continually in what? So she was a Rup Manjari, Rup Gosham. So we should follow in Sadhana Rajan Rup Gosham. How he was doing chanting, remembering always. And internally he was serving Radha and Krishna continuously, and always meditating, remembering this past and subrupushan as sadhak and as siddha. Rupushami was saying that he was sadhak and Rupanjali siddha. Only the words of Rupanjali. This is the hardest thing for us. अनर्थ ंगुलाकोचिताूमिकाय Object of her all jobs. So Rupa Goswami in this Upadesham in the dark, and how he was writing all the books and saying as they were saying, he was saying and saying in the concentrated form of Rupa Goswami and Rupa. So my parting lesson to you and and. Also praying and requesting all sannyasis, pujipas, the big kumaras, the jatas, and all others that they see, speak of their worship to you. That you should arjamaize all these things, and you should preach and propagate the whole world this mission of Chetan Mahaprabhu. So, thank you. I pray to Krishna that this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is special to you all. Very good, Krishna. Simati Radhika, his sakis. Oh yes, especially. Oh, Chitra, Chitra. Oh, very beautiful Chitra. Krishna, very beautiful. And this, Lalita and others. And Shiva Tirai ka har mein bhakti mukti. Also, Khandi Krishna Das. Oh, my heart is full. We should always 
try to figure from the open side. He never wanted to make any offense, but unwillingly, by his action, Khandya Krishna does, he thought that, oh, Rupa Swami has laughed on me for my, oh, my lameness. Rupa Swami can never do any offense. But he still, by his activities, if Khandi Krishna Das was somewhat offended, in his mind, or Rupa Goswami meant him. He was doing high class of bhajan, but he never wanted to displease him or to make offense. But yet, his remembering was strong, and he began to weak. Why? A spontaneous love and all remembers are not coming as a flow. Then he was with the help of Sanatana Goswami, he discovered his offense. Not offense, but yet, like offense abhar. And he went there and he begged his mercy. Then Khandi Prasudas knew that I have an offense, I have done offense. And then both. <coughs> So if you have done any offense, I mean you have not willing to offense, but if offense is done, so how class of this? So we should fear to do that. Be careful always for the question of offense. Never make any offense, even in dream, what to tell you this. So we should take all these lessons from all these things. Very beautiful drama. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all like this. Aradhana, all like this. Also, I give, oh, my hearty blessing to uh, Sanatana Goswami. Yeah. And you know, oh, Bhagat, Govinda Bhagat. Oh, he declared that Mahaprabhu has left this world. And Rupa Goswami, he made Rupa Goswami, and how high class of Separation move. Also, thank you, Lord. So, my friend, and my heart is present to you all prayers. But I want that not drama play will do. Just so try to practice like this. Always be careful for offense okay? and try to serve like a Rupa Goswami. And then be Rupa And you should try to. Shall <laughs> We will do Mughal as usual. As usual, our classes will be done. I think that all Vaishnavas will say those who want to say. In the morning. And after class, we will go to Aradha Dhamadha temple to make this version. And then, we will return here, and those who have, who have not done setting and all these things, they will complete it. And then, again after 10, we will meet here. Some classes, or oh, Vaishnava home, and other things. And we will offer all these things that we have left it for four months or for one month. We should offer to give you. And then we will distribute to all people. And try to remember whole life what we have done in this world. Don't forget all the details and the places where we come. You can remind it daily and you can go daily in Parikrama. And remembering all the parts I have Krishna, what I have told all the past places of past lives. And thus, you should be very fortunate. Go, Pranamati. Oh,
sometimes I used to be angry. And sometimes I used to chastise you. But only for you. So don't take any ill of them. I think that uh, you should forget. I want that you should be high class of devotee. So I have chastised sometimes. Even I could not control my anger. So I have given slap to sometimes my feet. But they used to call me off. And when you go to your country and visit, don't say that. Oh, we have, we are very much tired and so much difficulties were right there. If you go to your country and visit, they tell them, oh, very pleasant, very pleasant. And I'm comfortable, very comfortable. Oh, you should all come to me. So I am also inviting you for next for next year that oh more than two, three times more. You have come like five hundred and you should come five thousand percent. And I'm inviting you all oh for the Paikama all Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Kuvinda and you should also come. Uh, and I think that uh, without the mercy of Chaitanya we cannot go. So please try to come and because life is not when life may go. So try to do all these things. Go Prama! I want to just uh, this now four thousand books have arrived. They are outside in a car, maybe on the other side. The Maharashtra is kindly asking about 20 devotees to help him. So after the trip, I quickly help him to bring the books inside so that we can continue with our programs. Thank you.